What's happening, y'all? Welcome right back to the channel for another comedy reaction video. This time we're looking at Doug Stanhope on nationalism. Never heard of Doug Stanhope, never seen this before. So let's see what it's all about. And I also don't know what date this was or when it was uploaded. Um, but I'm guessing if it was done in the last five or six years, definitely has to be in the context of like Donald Trump and stuff like that. So, but again, never seen this before and never heard of Doug Stanhope. So if you guys know who Doug Stanhope is and have any, any of his comedy bits that you think I should react to in the future, drop them in the comments down below. But let's see what Doug Stanhope has to say about nationalism. Let's go. Nationalism does nothing but teach you how to hate people that you never met. And right off the bat, one sentence, we're speaking straight facts. Okay, Doug, let's keep it going. All of a sudden you take pride in accomplishments you had no part in whatsoever. And you brag about, you know, like the Americans who go, fuck the French. Fuck the French. If we hadn't have saved their ass in two world wars, they'd be speaking German right now. You go, oh, was that us? <laughs> that was us? Was, was that me and you, Tommy? We saved the French? You and me, Tommy. I know I blacked out a little bit after that fourth shot at Jägermeister last night, but <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember. I know we went through to Wendy's drive through We were going to get one of them fresh set of sandwiches. It looked so alluring on the commercial, but then we ordered it and realized we had no money and we had to ditch out before the second window. And those douchebags in line behind us with the bass music probably got our order. And out. We laughed about that, but I don't remember saving the print. Oh, I, I went through the last 10 calls on my cell phone and there's nothing incoming or outgoing to the French looking for muscle on a project. I checked my pants. There's no mud stains on the knees from where we were garroting krauts in the trenches at Verdun. I think we didn't do anything but watch sports bloopers while we got hammered. I think we should shut the fuck up. <laughs> Tradition and heritage as dead people's baggage. <laughs> Quit carrying it. Did you make it up? No. It's passed on to me. Pass it back. <laughs> Every immigration argument that you hear, they, they never come from a, a, well, how does it affect you personally? Well, you know, these immigrants, they come to our country, they burden our tax system. What they do is they come here and they get into our education system and our health care, and I'm going to pay the tax. My taxes have to pay that. Well, what the fuck are you doing to me every time you have a kid? Every time you have a kid because it's American, I should pull up a chaise lounge and wave a flag while 15 of those things come out of you? Pay every, oh, I can't wait to pay for these. They're American. I have a vasectomy and an abortion on my record, but I can't wait for all your fucking fat Midwestern kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, preach, Doug. I get a second job. Well, these immigrants, they don't, they don't speak the language. Then don't talk to them. That was quick. That was quick. Who speaks the language perfectly? Your next door neighbor. You've lived there eight and a half years. You've never said one fucking word to that guy. Yeah. Avert eye contact should you check the mail at the same time. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so why would you give a shit with the guy selling Ganipkinovs in a cart in the park speech? What the fuck? Any fucking business. And then all, this, all the cliched arguments like that. Well, they're, they're lazy, they're shiftless, and they're criminals and all this. They... All those arguments go against the main cliched argument of their taking American jobs. I live on the Mexican border. I live seven miles off the Mexican border in a town, Bisbee, Arizona, a little town. I can go out any day and watch Border Patrol arresting these guys by the dozen, 11 at a time out of a Dodge Army, like a clown car with plastic cuffs. <laughs> <laughs> and you're right, they don't speak the language and they probably have no education. They don't have fucking shoes half the time. They're like barefoot and tattered, castaway, like Gilligan's Island shorts. And, hey, 
like a dirty t-shirt that dehydrated and wander in a desert for four days. <laughs> and if that guy is as qualified for your job as you are, you're a fucking loser of such yeah. humiliating proportions. I would to have anyone find out that guy took my job. He doesn't speak English. What, did they do your job training in pantomime shit? <laughs> oh, see, come on. Boy, boy. I see, boy, boy. You're out of here, mullet head. You're out of here, mullet head. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody bitches about immigrants taking that job if that person has skills of any level. No, they're fucking brain surgeons sitting around the Beverly Hills Hotel Lounge. You don't really chaps my ass, Barry. <laughs> Scandinavian fellas are coming over taking all our good neurosurgery positions. The Norwegians specifically. I say we down ourselves a bottle of Jack Daniels and go stop us some Ouija ass. The first Ouija we see. <laughs> jump, jump out of that explorer and pound him. <laughs> Fucking immigrants. All started with that Einstein. Once they brought him over from Germany and we didn't have any good genius jobs, it was a trickle-down effect. <laughs> that really chaps my head. All right, very good. <laughs> I'm thoroughly pleased. That was very good. And you know what? Speaking truth and making me laugh. I'm getting you to think at the same time. Very good, Doug. I will have to check out more of his work. All right, everybody. That was Nationalism by Doug Stanhope. If you enjoyed this reaction, please smack the like button. Comment and subscribe. Hit the bell to get notified next time I drop a video. We'll see you right back here again very soon.